The next Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Terror Raid Spotlight event has been announced. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video, but before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So as the Greninja 7 Star event come to an end yesterday evening, Sunday night, we have had the announcement of a brand new Spotlight Terror Raid, which will be happening this week, starting on the 3rd of February. We can cover all the details, and it looks like it's going to be quite a good one. We've had a bunch of them before we've had the salamence the high dragon when we've recently had the mischievous and the drift blim spotlight terror Raid events and this week starting on the third like i've mentioned it will be featuring armor rouge and cerulege the exclusive pokemon to both scarlet and violet so as you can see during the period from a February the 3rd, which will be the Friday, running through to February the 6th. It'll actually be on the Sunday evening, like most of the Terror Raid events finish, which will be Sunday the 5th at midnight when it finishes. Uh, it seems to be easier to meet Glen Alama, which is Armor Rouge in Pokemon Scarlet, and then Soul Blaze, which is Cerulege in Pokemon Violet. So we're not going to get any crossovers of exclusives. They're staying in their respective games. Obviously, Armor Rouge is an exclusive for Pokemon Scarlet and Cerulege is an exclusive for Pokemon Violet. So they will be staying in their games, although you will be able to go online and access the alternative version exclusive from other players hosting it online. So you'll be able to get both of these Pokemon or if you have friends and things like that, you'll be able to enter their raids that way. But online, you'll be able to get both of these Pokemon. It does go on to say there are various Terra types for both of these Pokemon, so they're not going to have any tied Terra types types to them unlike the seven star raids you're going to be able to get them in all different terror types which is quite good especially for competitive play it makes it a little bit easier so you're not having to collect all of those terror shards to change their terror types when you've evolved them in your games like I say, the period is going to be running from February the 3rd until February the 6th, which will actually be February the 5th at midnight before it ticks over to midnight. And a few more details, they'll both be 4 and 5 star terror raids and they'll only appear in their respected copies of the game. Like it says here that Armor Rouge will only appear in Pokemon Scarlet and then Cerulege will only appear in Pokemon Violet. Then it goes on to say the terror raid event will change depending on the time zone that you're in so obviously like we've mentioned before it does say february the 6th here but it will be ending on february the 5th at midnight utc like they normally do so just bear that in mind it will not be rolling over but if you don't go online after the sunday anyway you're going to keep the terror raid event in your game and then it just goes on to say how you can access it in your game and you've got to have a subscription to the nintendo switch online which we kind of know about already that is all the information and this is the stopgap between now and the next time the Greninja 7 star raid will be returning which will be on the 10th of February so that is going to be the next 7 star event again we've just had it this past weekend Greninja will be returning on the 10th of February but in between that we are going to see Cerulege and Armor Rouge appearing in our games we'll of course be covering all of the details here on the channel when the event does go live this week if you would like to see some builds or best builds going in and beating the Spotlight Terror Raid events, obviously these two Pokemon both have Flash Fire, so some of their Terror types can be a bit tricky to beat. I will be happy to put a video out later this week covering a bunch of options for you to make it a little bit easier. But let me know down in the comment section below if you'd like to see that video. And just wrapping things up today, there was a little bit of extra news I'm going to tag on the end of this, which gives a bit of information about when to expect Pokemon Home. We did get an update from Cerebi late last night saying that Home will undergo maintenance on February the 1st from 1 to 6 UTC. After this, the mobile version will update to 2.1.0 to add new features to display ranked battle data for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So we are getting closer. The integrations from Pokemon Home to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are beginning. And as expected, around Pokemon Day is when we think the integration completely with Scarlet and Violet will happen, meaning we're going to get all those Hisui Pokemon across as well as the other Pokemon that aren't available in the Paldea decks, which is very, very exciting. So that wraps up everything for today's video. We have a brand new spotlight event happening later this week. I'm excited for this one. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear, are you excited for Armor Rouge and Cerulege coming to the Spotlight Terror Raids? I think it's a really nice one, actually. I like both of these Pokemon, so it's going to be an opportunity to get a bunch of them with different terror types for competitive play and other things like that. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you all in another
another video very soon. If you have, drop a like, do sub if you're new to the channel, all that good stuff, and I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.